Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Griggsville Perry Middle School in Perry, Illinois. I'm Dwayne Hewlett. Evan Wagner is alongside tonight as we have IESA, sectional class 1A, 8th grade volleyball, here on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH. It's the Redbirds of St. John's of Carrollton and the Southeastern Suns for a chance to go to the state tournament. Play 7 o'clock in Kankakee. Kankakee. It's time for the national anthem. We'll let you hear the national anthem, and then we'll move on to starting lineups here tonight from Griggsville Perry Middle School. And now let's be the starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the visiting team on the scoreboard, the Redbirds from Carrollton St. John. Number two, Landry Brody. Number 17, Katara Mueller. Number 18, Alexis Martin. Number 22, Hayden McMurtry. Number 24, Chloe McAdams. Number 42, Hadley Lake. And the Libero, Courtney Walheiser. Carol to St. John is coached by Tara Lake. She's assisted by Crusher Rodine and Sarah Schmidt. And now for the home team in tonight's game, the Lady Sons from Southeastern. Number one, Carol Leesman. Number 11, Elizabeth Hubbard. Number 18, Morgan Wilcox. Number 19, Jalen Fanback. Number 24, Keegan Ridge. And number 34, Kylie Putnam. Southeastern is coach by Kim Kerr. He's assisted by Angela Wagner. Well, you might have to move the camera a little bit, folks. I don't know. I, I, I set it up, and I didn't take uh, into consideration the turning of the handle. So... If you need to scoot that down a little bit, Evan, go ahead. I didn't give him any room to turn the camera, so we apologize for that, folks, as we get ready to go here. Set number one of the sectional matchup between the Redbirds of Carrollton St. John and the Sons of Southeastern Junior High School. I'm Dwayne Hewlett. Before we get started here, one of our sponsors, Ron L.B. Auto Sales, is mourning the loss of their namesake. Ron L.B. passed away. We want to send our thoughts and prayers out to a guy that has really been a stalwart in the town of Augusta. And if you're a race fan, you've seen the number three predominantly red, black, and white car for years around the late model world. So our thoughts and prayers are with the L.B. family with the loss of Ron Elby this week. So we are thinking of them as we go to this sectional contest tonight. But it's time for the Suns to try to make a return trip. Seventh and eighth grade both made it last year. These girls playing tonight for Southeastern were seventh graders obviously last year. They won a state title. See what happens here tonight. Back to serve is going to be number two, Landry Robin for the Redbirds as we're still having some net problems. They came tonight and realized that the net was set at the high school level, so they lowered it. 
got it down, and they just fixed the pole a little bit. And uh, Coach Kerr's laughing maybe a little because he's the one to help set that pole, I think, and it was a little crooked. There's Robin's serve. It's going to go off Van Beck. And it's going to be a point for the Redbirds. Robin gets the first point of the match. Van Beck from the back row. It's Doug. Robin with the bump set. It's going to be a free ball coming across. Bump set. Far side rig. It's blocked in the middle. The block by number 18, Alexis Martin. Second point for Robin. And it's two to nothing, Redbirds. Rig is there. Set. Rig again. Deep middle, Doug. Will be in another bump set. Attack's going to be that time by Hadley Lake. Far side set goes to Rig. Another dig in the back row. That's Olry. And now it's going to be a bump set. Back to Rig again. She's going to push it far side. Doug by Lake. Pushed across, and they're going to call a lift as the pass went to the nets. So the first side out. Of the match goes to the Suns. And first serve, Doug middle back. Three ball is going to come across. There's Wilcox there. It's tipped across, and a kill is going to go down for Rig. And an ace for Wilcox. And the Suns lead three to two. Wilcox back to serve one more time. Deep this time. Bump set. It's going to be a free ball coming across. And it's out of bounds. A bad pass results in another point for Wilcox. It was McMurtry back middle who received that. She had a good pass to start, but she goes down to get that one. Another free ball coming across to the nets, tipped across. Blocked at the net that time. Bumps now. Another attack. Dug in the back row by Van Beck. There's Rig pushing it deep and out. Side out to the Redbirds. They trail four to three. Going back to serve is going to be number 42, Hadley Lake. Short. Wilcox is there to the net. It comes, reaching across and tipping it down on a slight overpass. We'll give her a kill. That's number 22, Hayden McMurtry. And a point for Hadley Lake. Rig sends it deep and out of play, a hitting air. Another point for Lake. It's five to four. And barely letting it go, diving, but get listening is Ulri, Ulri, and she let it go. And it's six to four. Rig is there. Rig on the attack after the bump set by Van Beck. Putnam was, uh, I was getting Van Beck and Putnam mixed up earlier. I apologize for that. There's a side out on a hitting air. Six to five. Back to serve is Van Beck. Low, hard serve. What a job to get back to it. It might come to the net. It's not going to. Good job by the libero, Courtney Waldhauser, 
but she couldn't get enough of it to send it back across. Van Beck gets her first point. Another passing error. It's going to be a free ball coming back across again. Van Beck to set. Far side rig. Rig on the tip. It's dug by Robine. Pushed across. Wilcox. Van Beck. Middle that time. Robine the setter out of system. In the middle it goes on the attack and the kill for number 18, Alexis Martin. Her second or her first kill. She's got a block and a kill. And she's going to go back to serve now on the side out. Seven to six, Redbirds with the lead. Low serve into the net, a serving there. Gives the serve back to the Suns and ties it at seven apiece. Tegan Rigg back to serve now for the Suns. Bump set is going to come deep back and... Waldhauser could not do anything with it. It's a point for Rig. Robine sets far side. The lefty from the right side. That was number 24, McAdams. Pushed across by Putnam. Now it's dug by Wilcox. Hit from the back row by Rig in trouble. And it's going to fall. Rig is going to pick up the point. I'm not going to give her the kill, but she does get the point. Nine to seven. And a service error gives the serve back to the Redbirds. We're in an odd location here, and it's hard for me to get everything, so I'm a Apologizing for that, folks. We'll do our best here. Here's the serve, the lefty. As we mentioned, that's Chloe McAdams. And uh, the overpass results in a kill for number 22, Hayden McMurtry, her second kill. McAdams gets her first service point. And we're tied at nine. Wilcox outside to Putnam, and Putnam's going to get the kill. Kylie Putnam, the kill and the side out. And the Suns retake a one-point lead, 10-9. And to serve is Morgan Simmons. She served very well in the seventh grade game, but that's an out. Service air. Side out. Back to serve is going to be number 22, Hayden McMurtry. Rig sets far side. Putnam, she pushes it across. Lake pushed across by Yulery. Now Yulery is going to tip it. Van Beck was there. Wilcox bumps it across. Ulrey again. Pushed across. This, oh, what a job getting down to get that. It's tipped by Ulrey. Now Rig from the back row tried to take a little something off of it and hits it into the net. And a point's going to go for McMurtry. And her team's back to a one-point lead, 11-10. Short serve, oh, into the net. I thought it was going to be a let serve for a second. But it fell back on the Redbird side of the net. That means it's a point and a side out for the Suns. It's 11 to 11. Rig, Van Beck outside. And Putnam with another kill, her second. And an ace for Riley Hart, her second service point, her first ace. 
the Suns have a two-point lead, 13 to 11, here in set number one of the sectional contest. Robine sets near side Lake. Rig is there, back row attack coming from Rig, and she hits it into the net again. Side out, back to the Redbirds. They trail by one, 13 to 12. Back to serve is going to be number 17, Katera Ullery. Rig pushing it across. Robin's going to have the set on a nice pass. The attack by Martin. Outside it goes down the line. That was an attack by Putnam. Now it's going to be a free ball across. Van Beck. Wilcox is going to have to send another free ball across. Robin sets middle to Martin. Martin's going to come to get it. And Martin's going to get another kill. Her second. A passing error. And we're tied at 13. Ulrey gets her first service point. Rig. Pushed across. Rig is there. And they can't get to it. Martin's going to get another kill. And it's back to a one-point lead for the Redbirds. Ulrey gets her second service point. Deep. Wilcox tips it across short into the net and a kill for Wilcox. Her first kill. And another side out back to the Suns. We do love to see where you're cheering from and who you're cheering for. That goes for either team. Hop in the live chat, let us know. And a service there for Putnam. It goes right back to the Redbirds. They lead 15 to 14. Robine for the second time back to serve. She served two service points in her first serve. Short and out. Barely. It was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, but it was out nonetheless. Now we're tied at 15. Simmons comes out. I believe that's Ella Tippy, number 12. Who's in the game? Wilcox gets an ace. Her second ace, fourth service point. And another service air. We're tied at 16. Back to serve one more time is Hadley Lake. She's got three service points. Putnam struggles. Now she's going to have a back row attack. Robin sets near side. On the attack was McMurtry. Rig now on the attack. Ulery is there. Robin sets near side McMurtry again. That one's way out the back. And a hitting error results in a point for the Suns and a side out. 17-16. Back to serve is going to be 19, number 19, Jalen Van Beck. Van Beck serve. Ulery is there. Robin to set now. Middle it goes. On the attack was McAdams. Back row now. Wilcox. Robin. Going to be a free ball sent across by the libero, Waldhauser. Now that was Tippy on the Attack. It looked like a foot fault there as he went under the net, but no call. We're still going. At McAdams with the attack. Or Martin, excuse me. And a kill by Ella Tippy. Van Beck gets the point after the long rally. It's 18 16 Suns. And another hard low serve. Good job by Waldhauser to get it. Van Beck's going to set middle now. Ella Tippi on the attack. Robin is there. They're out of system. Middle is going to go to Martin. Martin on the attack. Back there was Leesman. Big time hit and a big time block. Rig had her biggest hit. 
And Martin had her biggest block. It's her second block. And it's a side out and a one-point game once again. Martin going back to serve now. Trouble for Putnam. Van Beck's there, though. Wilcox is going to send a free ball across to Martin. Robine sets middle. Ulrey tips it down. Van Beck goes to get it. It's going to come back across. Oh, a good job of going down to get it for McMurtry, but she can't keep it in bounds. It goes out of bounds, and a side out back to the Suns. Rig back to serve now. Rolls up the arms of Campbell. Sent across by McAdams. Van Beck going to tip it across. Going down to get it's real bean. Ulrey, McAdams. Leesman's there. Now Van Beck sets back row to Rig. Rig's going to push it deep. Robin's there again. And a passing error by the libero, Waldhauser. And the Suns have the first three-point lead of the game, 20-17, to 17, and a timeout's going to be charged to the Redbirds of Carrollton St. John. We'll take a break as well, and we'll be right back on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MBH right after this. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. And welcome back after the timeouts. 20 to 17, Suns with the first three-point lead of the game. Want to say hi to Tiffany Hubbard, who's watching. And trouble again. Ulrey is going to get it across. Van Beck is there. Riggs going to bump set back to Van Beck. She's going to tip it across. Robin is there. They spent a lot of time out of system. Ulrey. Eastman, Van Beck, far side, Putnam. Putnam on the attack. It's tipped. It's dug. McAdams going to send it middle. McMurtry sends it across. Now to the net it goes. Tipped across, brought back up. McAdams is going to hit it. Putnam is there. Leesman. Riggs sends it deep. Campbell was there. Now Ulrey, and Ulrey is going to get the kill. Her first kill, a side out for the Redbirds to stop the bleeding a little bit, closes the lead to two, 20 to 18. McAdams. Beck, Riggs going to send it from a knee across. McAdams to the net, it's tipped. Van Beck's going to send it up. McAdams goes down to get it. Treble, Robin's going to send it across. Putnam, and a bad pass. Uh, just a rally, and it goes to the Redbirds, and McAdams gets the service point. She had a huge diving dig during that rally, and the Suns are out of rotation, and we're tied at 20. Coach, Coach Kerr. Coach Kerr is getting explained right now what the. And he's going to take a timeout. Tied at 20. We've got a race to five now on a game that's been very, very good. Melissa Berges. Berges, thanks for watching. Julie Tierstrip, thanks for watching again. Appreciate it. Tom, Doc, or Pastor Tom watching again. Manissa Berg, good to see you back on with us. Game being brought to you, as I said, by Ron Elby Auto Sales with locations in Macomb and Augusta. With 80 years of car sales experience, Ron Elby Auto Sales is your hometown go-to for your mixed car. In Macomb on East Jackson Street, stop in and talk to Justin, Jared, or Chris. That's Ron Elby Auto Sales. McAdams back to serve again. Back row, Rig pushes it across. McAdams is there. Robin a bump set, going to go to the net. Ulrey has a great bump set. And she gets her second kill. McAdams gets her fourth service point. 
And after being down three, they've rolled off four straight, and they have a one-point lead, 21-20. McAdams has served three straight. That's end of the net and a service error. Tied at 21. Back to serve is going to be Jalen Van Beck. Nope, it's going to be Simmons. Morgan Simmons. Down the line it goes, and that's going to drop right back in the corner. That's what she tried to do last time, and it was a little wide. That time it was not. And Morgan Simmons is going to get an ace, and her team has a 22-21 lead. Deep left this time. It kind of ate up Day, who was back there, and then a passing there results in another point. And it's 23-21, and the Redbirds want a timeout. Simmons has two straight service points. So the Suns led 20 to 17. The Redbirds came back to take a 21-20 lead. Now the Suns have rolled off three straight of their own after including a side out to get a 23-21 lead. Here in set number one, it's been a long one. Very good volleyball thus far here in eighth grade competition. A chance to go to state. On the line for one of these two teams is Carrollton St. John and the Southeastern Suns. St. John in the red, Suns in the blue. Deep serve again, short and an ace for Morgan Simmons. And she's got her team on the cusp of a game one win. She pounds the ball on the floor, sets it up, serves it up again, deep right corner, and just a little long. A side out on the service there. But Hayden McMurtry back to serve. She's got one service point in her one serve so far. She's got to roll off at least two straight to extend the match. And it's short and into the net. She tried to drop it short and left it a little too short. And that's how set number one is going to end at 25-22. The Suns get a set one win. We'll take a break, and we'll be back on TSSR Game Time Live, presented by MDH in just a couple minutes. When my parents told me they'd be using Adam's experts, I felt a bit replaced. I mean, they always called me to remove their viruses or get their printer connected to Wi-Fi. He even set up their new Roku. How do I adopt a new son? <laughs> <laughs> but then he taught me a few things. And now, we're like tech brothers. Adams Experts, repair, maintenance, and setup for all your home technology needs. I went through MDH when we were trying to get pregnant. We were struggling the first year, and then when we got pregnant, I stayed at MDH and through labor and now for pediatrics. My experience was nothing short of phenomenal. I met, was met with amazing staff members who helped me through concerns that I had when she was first born, helping me learn how to be a new mom. It was really reassuring and comforting knowing that I had so much support and kindness around me. My entire pregnancy at MDH was amazing. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. I grew up in a small town in Missouri and I like the feel of community. I like knowing the people that I take care of and knowing the people around me, providing care for someone that you know is in this community and helping them to get better. Uh, I see acute injuries on the field. Uh, I see uh, ankle sprains, I see ACL knee injuries, as well as in the clinic. It's very rewarding to see them from on the field injury to rehab to transition back to their event. And welcome back to Griggsville Prairie Middle School as the Griggsville Prairie School District hosting the IESA sectional final. The winner of this match goes straight to the state tournament. And you can see 25-22, the Suns got a set one win. 
So we'll give the Suns the win, and we'll come back with set number two. It will be the Suns with the serve this time. Robina open the game serving in set number one. Chloe McAdams has four service points for the Redbirds. Morgan Wilcox has four service points for the Suns. Morgan Simmons has three, including 22, 23, and 24 for the Suns. A couple kills for Kylie Putnam. Three kills for Alexis Martin. And two kills apiece for Eulery and McMurtry. Putnam. McMurtry. That's deep and out, just barely out by Martin. And the Suns lead by one here in set number two. Pushed across. Rig on the attack. It's blocked. And another block for Alexis Martin, her third block to go along with three kills. She has played very well at the net for the Redbirds, and she ties the score at one apiece. Landry Robine back to serve now with the score knotted at one. Putnam, Van Beck, Riggs going to push it. Ulri is there. Oh, miscommunications. McMurtry comes to get it. Van Beck, middle, block. Van Beck. No, it's going to be Wilcox pushing it across. Martin is playing huge at the middle. She's going to tip it across. There's going to be Doug. Van Beck can't get it across. It's not going to be a block, but it might as well have been as Martin is huge at the net for these Redbirds, and Robine's going to get the service point, her third. Deep left, overpass. Trouble is... Hadley Lake went to hit it, and overpass results in a side out for the Suns. And we're knotted at two now. Back to serve is Wilcox. Ella Tippy into the game for the Suns. Low hard serve. Eulery is there. McMurtry. Martin pushes across. And in an overpass, falls in front of Wilcox, and it's a side out to the Redbirds. Three to two. Hadley Lake going back to serve. She'll serve, and the Libero will come in for her after that. Riggs going to bump, bump it across hard and too deep. Four to two as Lake gets her fourth service point of the match. Low and an ace for Hadley Lake. Her fifth point, first ace. And it's five to two. Largest lead of the match for either team. It comes early here in set number two. The Suns led by three in set one. This is the first three-point lead of the match for the Redbirds. Rig now trying to stop it. She's going to push it deep, and she'll get it to fall. Great placement for Tegan Rig. She gets her first kill, and it's a side out. And Beck serve. Ulri is there. Robine sets middle. McAdams. Van Beck sets outside Rig. Rig's going to push it across. Might have been a double hit. No call, though. Martin's going to tip it across. Now they're going to call her for a lift. Illegal hit. Van Beck gets the point. It's five to four. Van Beck deep and in and ace. For Jalen Van Beck, her fourth point, first ace. It's five to five. Deep left this time. Waldhauser is there. Robin goes to get it, gets it across. Van Beck's going to tip it. Robin goes down to get it. Martin sends it across. Outside Rig to the net it comes, and Rig's going to get it to fall. She goes up and placed it right between the block of McAdams and Martin. 
Riggs going to get her second kill. Another point for Van Beck. Her fifth. And she's up to serve again. Ulery is there. Robin comes to get it. McAdams is going to have to push it across. It's blocked. Nope, it's into the net. Never got across. It's 7-5, to five, Suns. Van Beck gets her sixth service point. Short and an ace for Jalen Van Beck, her second ace. And the Suns took the serve, trailing 5-3. to three. Van Beck has rolled off five straight. Ulery again struggles. Waldhauser gets it to McAdams. McAdams to Wilcox. Pushed across by Van Beck. Robin is there. Now Martin's going to try to do something with it. It's going to be tipped, and Rig can't get there. Another kill for Martin, but she's going to the back row now. She's got four kills. It's eight to six. Van Beck went to get it. That was very close to being out, and then a passing error by Ella Tippy. Martin gets the service point. That's her first service point. Eight to seven now. Rig goes to get it. Pushed across. Ulery. Rig. Tippy sends it across. Short. Martin comes to get it. Robin sets middle to Ulery. It's tipped off the net. Double hit as it never got to the – it never – I think that's correct. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it looked to be correct call to me. I don't think it ever got over the net. Martin's going to get her second. Martin serve, Van Beck, Rig, middle, Tippy pushes it across, and Martin goes down to get it as Robin dove out of the way. There was McMurtry on the attack outside of Rig now. Rig on the attack. Martin is there. Robin, McMurtry, Wilcox. Van Beck sets Rig. Rig pushes it across. Martin back there. Robin a bump set. It's going to be Ulery sending it across. Wilcox is there again. Van Beck out to Rig on the attack. Deep and in. Backline attack for Tegan Rig. Rig has three kills all here in set number two. And she gets the side out for the Suns. And her team back to a one point lead, nine to eight. Rig back to serve. End of the net, a service error, and it's right back to the Redbirds. McAdams, who has served very well for the Redbirds, is back at the line. She's got four service points. Hadley Lake has five. McAdams all in set number one. Wilcox, an overpass. It's trouble. Waldhauser goes to get it. It's tipped back across by Ella Tippy, And Ella Tippy is going to get the kill on the overpass. Her second kill. It's another side out. And Morgan Simmons back in the serve for the Suns. Ten nine the lead. Morgan Simmons, who served three straight a few moments ago, is back to serve. She nearly closed out set number one at the service line with a couple aces. We'll see what she can do here. That's short right. Comes down. It's going to get touched a couple times. I'll give her an ace on that. I think she mishit it, but it worked in her favor. She's got four points, three aces. And the Suns back to a two-point lead. Middle. And that's going to be another ace for Morgan Simmons. Five points, four aces. Back to a three-point lead, 12-9. to nine. Suns with the lead. Wasting no time at the service line is Simmons. Ulrey's going to be able to dig that one up. Pushed across by McMurtry. Wilcox, back set, Putnam. Putnam pushes it down. McMurtry now an overpass. Putnam's back there. Middle, nope, going to go to Putnam down the line and out. She tried to come cross-court and got a little long. And it's out of bounds on the hitting air. And it's 12 to 10, and McMurtry going back to serve. She's got one service point and two kills for the Redbirds. Wilcox, and she's going to get called for the illegal hit. McMurtry gets her first ace. McMurtry back to serve again. 
Wilcox. And a putt. Yeah, it was Wilcox. And then sent back across by Rigg on a free ball, essentially, and it falls on a second hit. Coming in to serve is going to be Riley Hart, number 14, replacing Kara Leesman. Hart's low, hard serve as an ace for Riley Hart. Her third point, second ace. 14 to 11, back to a three-point lead for the Suns. Hart's next serve is low and in the net. A service error results in a side out. 14 to 12. Back to serve is Ulrey. Ulrey has two service points and two kills. A floater to the net. It's going to be tipped across by Van Beck. Pushed back across. Going to have to go across this time. Van Beck pushes it deep. Ulrey is there. Robin sets middle Martin. Martin on the attack. Dug by Rigg. An overpass. It's going to be a free ball. Rigg. Van Beck. Outside Putnam. Putnam pushes it down. Ulrey a big time one-handed hit and then pushed across by Martin. Van Beck's going to have to send a free ball across. Again, it's tipped. It's going to be an illegal hit. Martin has reached up and hit two of those. That time it was more than her defense could handle behind her, and it's a side out for the Suns. 15-12. Putnam back to serve. Low hard serve is an ace. For Kylie Putnam, her second service point, first ace. And largest lead of the match for either team at 16-12. Deep. Ulrey is there. Robin's going to have the set. It's going to go to Hadley Day. Van Beck outside to Rig. Rig on the attack. It's tipped and it's going to fall. A kill for Tegan Rig. Putnam gets the point and a timeout charged to the Redbirds. Down by five, 17 to 12 here in set number two. We'll take a break as well, and we'll be back on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH right after this. At Western Illinois University, Leathernecks don't just blend in. Our purple stands out. Our students are innovative, creative, and resilient. At WIU, there is limitless potential with campuses in Macomb, the Quad Cities, and online. Visit wiu.edu slash potential to become a Leatherneck and get an education that stands out. Welcome back to Griggsville Perry Middle School. I want to welcome Adams Fiber who's watching tonight. Thanks for being a sponsor of Southeastern Sports here on TSSR Game Time Live. We greatly appreciate you guys. Teresa Schaefer watching as well. All Suns fans. I haven't heard anybody entertained from, from the Redbirds fans yet, but. We do appreciate you guys all watching. Putnam serve. Ulrey is there. Robin, middle. Hadley Day is going to get the kill to stop the bleeding. Her first kill. Seventeen thirteen. Robin back to serve. Short. Putnam comes to get it. Van Beck's going to tip it across. Robin sets to Martin. Martin pushes it across. Putnam is there. Outside Rig. Rig on the attack. Deep off Ulrey. Tracking it down is McMurtry. What a job to get there. Can Ulrey get it across? She can't. But what a job and hustle back there by Hayden McMurtry as Wilcox is going to go back to serve for the Suns. Suns lead 18-13. Wilcox off of Martin. It's going to be a third, so it'll be a free ball. McAdams is going to hit it deep. Leesman went and got it. Wilcox sends a free ball across. McMurtry, Hadley Day, sets middle to Martin. It's off the block of Ella May, Ella Tippy, excuse me. Van Beck sends a free ball across. McMurtry's there. Hadley Day on the attack. Van Beck out to Rig. Rig on the attack. Pushes it deep across. Hadley Day is there. Robin back to Day. Day on the attack. Nice hit. Leesman's there, though. Van Beck. Rig's going to tip it. 
It's going to fall short. Oh, what a job, but they can't get it. Rig. Great job of reacting to a set that didn't go where they really wanted it to. And it's going to be a side out. We'll give Rig the kill. I don't know if it really should have been or not, but we'll give her her fifth. Wilcox back to serve for the Suns. Short, Martin is there. Now it's going to be McAdams on the attack. Van Beck out to Rig. Rig on the attack. Eulery is there. Now it's going to be Hadley Day with a bump set. It's going to come across. And I'm going to give Ella Tippy the kill. I'm not sure if she really should get it or not. We're going to give it to her, her third. The one, one official wanted to call it an attack over the net, but, uh, oh, <laughs> Nick Murtry got it with her shoulder. It worked nonetheless. Now tip by Rig. Robin is there. Martin's going to push it across, and they're going to call her for a lift. That's a good call. Wilcox is going to get another point. Her sixth unofficially. And the Suns lead 21 to 13. Deep. McMurtry there, barely struggling with serve receive again. Martin's going to be on the attack. Putnam goes to get it. Van Beck sets to Rig. Rig deep, and it's going to fall. Tegan Rig has come to life here in set number two. And the Suns have a big lead. 22-13 here in set number two. They are three points away from a second straight year of making it to the state tournament in IESA competition. We'll take a break. Actually, we'll keep it here. We'll tell you this game is being brought to you by Adams Experts. Looking for top-notch local computer sales and repair services? Call Adams Experts in Quincy at 217-214-3423 for fast, friendly, and affordable assistance. We make technology work. That's Adams Experts, your go-to when your computer goes down. Mandy Martin, Jeremy and Mandy Lake watching from Carrollton. It's Hadley Lake. Oh, my God, it is. I'm sorry, Mandy. I apologize. I even have Lake wrote down. I don't know what I was doing. Mad, it's Hadley Lake, all those good points that she's had. I apologize. There's Martin with another good attack. It's going to go to the net. Van Beck drags it out. Martin's going to push it back across. Rig on the attack. Lake is there. I got it right that time, Mandy. At the net, Ella Tippy is going to win over Martin. Ellen Tippy is going to get the kill on the overpass, her fourth kill. Wilcox gets another point, her seventh unofficially. Deep serve this time. Ulery is there. Lake sends it across. Ella, May, Ella Tippy sends it. Ella May, I know an Ella May, and it's screwed me up all day. Tippy sends it. Robin back to Martin. Dug by Putnam. Rig on the attack. Robin is there. McAdams sets middle to Martin. Martin on the attack. It's blocked. Wilcox is there. That's going to go to Rig. Rig's going to send a free ball across. Ulery is there. Martin on the attack again. Van Beck out to Rig. Rig on the attack. Oh, Ulery's what a one-handed dig by Ulery. She sends it across. Wilcox, Van Beck. She's going to tip it across, and Van Beck's going to get the kill. Twenty-four, thirteen. Wilcox serving her team to state right here. Can she get it done? A serve off McAdams' arms and an ace. And the Southeastern Suns are returning to state as Wilcox ends it with an ace. And that's how it's going to end. Twenty-five, thirteen. The Suns are headed back to state. Yeah, your head's right in the, right in the way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it's a good thing you're not bald, though. What a great match. Chris Dewar is in the house tonight. I'm not sure how long he's been here, but he'll have some video for you tonight, I'm sure, on KHQA. I know he got the serve, the ace at the end. That's the first time I saw him, but he got the ace. He'll have a short 
highlight video, I'm sure, for you. Not a better guy in sports. And there is Kara Stevens, the injured Kara Stevens, coming to get the plaque as her team is going to stay at 26-0 after the win tonight. And the Suns are headed back to state. Kankakee Bishop McNamara, I believe, is where that is. We'll figure that out. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in a few minutes as we'll get Coach Kerr up here on a headset in a few minutes. We'll take a break and let you hear a word from our title sponsor, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, welcome back. We're here now with Wanda Foster, the Vice President of Nursing and Clinical Administration. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Well, what we're going to talk about today is some of the opportunities that are available at MDH for students, whether they be high school students, Spoon River College students, or Western students. MDH has a lot of opportunities to be involved and to learn, right? We absolutely do. And we look so forward to having students here. We are a clinical site for Western Illinois University and their bachelor's program for nursing, as well as for Spoon River College nursing students and others that are doing some independent study. We welcome students. And we, we also encourage high school students, if you would like to learn more about nursing, um, we would love to meet with you. And there are opportunities at the hospital also where they can apply for, for jobs here, for positions. So um, we work closely with our nursing students, and we hope to recruit them and attract them and want to come back. I know that uh, publicly there's been a short shortcoming or a short shortage of nurses, right? And I know that every hospital and every nursing home and every clinical place period is searching for nurses. So how important is it for MDH to have these groups work with them, whether it be MDH or be Spoon River College or whatever the case may be? How important is it for MDH to then recruit those nurses to stay here and work as a profession? It's, it's very important. We want um, nursing students to feel, feel very comfortable here, to enjoy their their clinical experience and their opportunities here. And then we want them to feel very comfortable, to give them a good orientation. We hire new graduates, of course, into our acute care area, as well as the intensive care unit. Uh, we hire new graduates in the emergency room, in home health and hospice, in our OB department, in our surgery department. These are all areas that new graduates can come into. We certainly give them a robust orientation. No one um, starts on their own until they feel completely ready. They have a mentor certainly with them, and we want to give them the best start for success that we can. And then there are many areas of specialty they can choose to go into. Nursing is a very unique field. You can work full-time. You can work part-time if you need to take time off uh, for some reason. Um, it's a field that you can kind of step into a little bit more um, uh, than maybe some other um, other fields in healthcare. We also have scholarships available um, through our auxiliary, uh, through the hospital, and then once someone is an employee here, we do have some tuition reimbursement. Uh, so we will certainly um, help with that. And going back to the scholarships and the shortages that are across the board, not necessarily at MDH, but everybody, everywhere, right? So everywhere, this is a profession that you can make a good living at and be pretty sure to have a job, right? So Absolutely. This is a profession that high schoolers that are playing these sporting events or high schoolers that are watching these sporting events should consider, I would imagine. Yes, yes, very much so. Um, you will always be assured to have a feel, uh, to have a, a, a job, a career in nursing. I hate to call it just a job because we, you really want someone on that career path who has that passion for caring for people, uh, for providing nursing care. Um, through your education and through your orientation, we can teach you your skill set. Um, but if you have that passion and the desire um, to, to be in the nursing profession, you will do fine. Yeah, a, a career and a job, while they might be listed as the same thing, they're really not. <laughs> Correct. I mean, if you if your career is being a nurse, you're probably going to enjoy it a lot more than if it's a job, right? That's right. And and you don't go into it first and foremost for the money. You go into you go into it because that's what you want to do with your life, and the money certainly will follow. Yeah, and that that goes for anything probably. Yes. But the nice thing is, is right now whether the money's good or bad, there's always going to be a job. There will. If you if you can get through the schooling, 
and you can learn to love what you're doing, there's always going to be a job for you. Right? And it's not something for high school graduates exclusively. Um, we have many people who have made changes uh, midlife. We have people who have retired from their career in one thing and have chosen to go into nursing. So it, it's open for, for any age, uh, and we certainly welcome that. And you mentioned there's different areas of expertise for nurses. It, it, people think of that for doctors, but it's really that same way for nurses, right? I mean, you can be a surgical nurse and really become a great surgical nurse, or you can become a great ICU nurse, or you can do all those things. Yes. But if you really want to focus on something or be at OB, which you guys have a great OB department here, if that's what you want your focus to be and you really love working with expected and new mothers and, and, and young babies... You can do that, right? You can do that. We also have positions in our um, our MDH uh, physician clinic practices as well. And if you are in nursing and you can choose to specialize in a certain department, you can choose to go on and, and be a director or a clinical care coordinator. You can go back to school and become a nurse practitioner, um, become a certified registered nurse anesthetist. Um, you can go many different directions and really as high as, as to whatever extent in your education you would like to pursue. Well, Wanda, thanks for coming and talking to us. We greatly appreciate it. I know that there's probably places, uh, specific places within an MDH that they can reach out to, correct? Is there somewhere that they need to call if they're interested? I would call in our Human Resource Department and start there, and then they can help direct and guide you. They can tell you about openings that we currently have. Everything, all of our current positions are listed on our MDH website, um, www.mdh.org. Um, but certainly any positions for high school students, if they would like to start somewhere in within the organization or volunteer experience, um, reach out to Human Resources and they can help direct you. Well, again, thank you very much. and We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. And welcome back to, where are we at? Grigsville Perry Middle School in Perry, <laughs> Illinois, right? Perry, I've never Illinois. been here before either. I've been here a few times. Um, there was a regional here a couple of years ago. We played regular season one time. Um, Came here recently uh, for the seventh grade boys sectional basketball game, I think, and watched our, brought our girls over and we watched our boys play there. So I've been here a little bit. It, it, it seemed like, you know, I don't know that I've ever been to Griggsville Perry. I always, in FFA and stuff, I always saw Griggsville Perry a lot when, when I was in school. Mm -hmm. Never been here. When I saw it was at Perry, I'm like, God, it's going to be a long, it was, it's way closer than Carrollton. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> no question. Yeah, for you guys especially, right? Absolutely. Oh, this, here was our, <laughs> this is our shortest drive of the postseason, <laughs> for yeah, sure. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, we're here with Tim Kerr, a state qualifier one more time, and uh, made it look really difficult in set one, but made it look relatively easy in set two. We did, and that's a, kind of a good synopsis of what happened. You know, I think in that first set we saw their size and kind of felt their size a little bit and um, played tentative and played a little bit uh, one of those really almost played not to lose instead of played to win. We Really didn't come out and attack like we could have. You know, um, we talked about this a little bit off air that Tegan Rigg had a really good second set. I know we'll get to that, but, you know, she got blocked early on. And, you know, we talked about uh, maybe some of us, you know, me to blame because we did. Talk, I did talk to him about, you know, the size that they had. They're, that's the biggest team we played all year long, save maybe Quincy, Quin, you know, Quincy Public School. But, um, you know, we knew coming in that they'd be there with our hitters, and, you know, we needed to, you know, hit, hit around hitters and play smart and, and do some of those things. So I think maybe coming in we were a little bit um, too, you know, aware of their size and, and um, too aware of uh, what they could do with our, with our attacking. But, um, you know, like you said, made the first one look really difficult by missing some serves and you know, had some key kids, you know, Morgan Wilcox and, you know, Morgan, Morgan Simmons and Tegan missed a couple serves. So it's one of those things I talked to my high school assistant coach Autumn Shillian about today. Just she's like, "What do you think about today?" I said, "I don't know. If we if we can serve the ball in bounds, I think we're going to be a, be fine." And that was something you worry about. Is you know we have some girls that go back there and do a really nice job of um, you know getting balls in bounds and serve aggressively, yes, aggressively, and sets us up to be able to play offense a lot. And you know when when we miss serves like that, obviously that momentum goes the other way and allows them to have a chance. Uh, you know to to you know, keep pace with us, and that was really kind of what happened the first set. You know, I go back to the end of that first one, and I think you know Morgan. Morgan Simmons Morgan came had, up huge. Didn't I think she? three three good ones in a row, and then yeah, three three three, eight, three points and two aces. Yep, and then she hit one out of bounds, and I screamed at her as hard as I probably <laughs> ever screamed at her in my life. But I, I, I guess I must have forgot about those three points she got us. But um, no, that was good. That was really good. She did a good job coming in. You know, you got you have those three seventh graders that are coming in, and. 
and helping. You know, and we haven't talked about Kara Stevens being gone yet, but uh, um, we'll get to that later on. But you know, having to replace her is a is a is a big or you know big shoes to fill, and they do a good job of doing that. Talk about Tegan first. She was really the spark plug there in set number two. You guys won set one, 25-22. You were down 21-20 after being up 2017. They rolled off four straight, kind of maybe took a little momentum, and then Morgan Simmons stepped to the line. But it looked like Tegan came out in set two. She hit the ball hard a couple times, but she really placed the ball really well. Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of had an idea of defensively where we could take advantage of their holes. And, you know, no matter what kind of defense you play in volleyball, there's spots that, that you can take advantage of. And we kind of knew coming in that, uh, you know, that, that deep corner that you saw her hit a couple times was something. You know, Kylie Putnam hit, did a good job hitting that early on the first set. But, um, you know, taking just, you know, I, I told her, you know, you just need to play better. You know, you're the best player on the floor right now for us. You need to go out there and do that. So. One of the uh, – go ahead. No, sorry. I just, you know, like you said, Tegan just stepped up and did a good job. There, You know, there at the end when, you know, we're really deciding to, you know, finish things off, I just – I'm just telling her to finish, you know, take take over the game for us, take over the game. You know, she had three or four nice kills right there in a row, so that was good. Let's talk about uh, system a little bit. You know, we, I was talking to you and a couple coaches before the game, mm -hmm. and you talk about system and things you do. You don't. I, I haven't talked a in my life a lot about system in junior <laughs> right. high, but you guys got the ball on on passes over the net, whatever it was, whether it was an attack or just a to their setter all the time. I mean, it seemed like two thirds of the time their setter was taking first ball. Was that a planned thing for you guys, or did it just work out that way? Yeah, I mean that's a function of you know the, the defense that they're playing, and you know we knew that 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 back corner, that serving corner, would be open and. And, uh, you know, we worked a lot, you know, the last couple practices. We, we spent lots and lots of time just trying to hit the ball back there in that corner. And, and uh, that's something that's difficult for junior high girls to be able to do. And, you know, our girls do a pretty good job of doing that. And, you know, we didn't exploit it as much as I wanted to, as much as I thought we could have. But, um, you know, every time you saw that setter taking that first ball, it's because, you know, we looked at, you know, taking advantage of that spot. And, and uh, it's something that we definitely, we definitely think about and, 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 and look at for sure. You know, they're – with the size that they have, being able to take that setter out of play, um, you know, sometimes negates the size and then gets them out of system and, let, and makes them makes them hit balls a little bit over the you know that we can uh, we can control and allows us to uh, you know attack more often. So, yeah, definitely a combination of sometimes lucky and sometimes planned. I think. <laughs> um, let's talk about the seventh graders for a second. Mm -hmm. We we talked on last Monday night when they lost about how they, how much they have grown and how. how that team as a whole was, was so much better at the end of the year. They came in tonight. There was three of them came in and gave you really good, for lack of a better minutes. term, minutes, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Tonight in this eighth grade right. game, you know, uh, Ella Tippy played well at the net for you. She got some big kills there in set number two and some tip overs and, yeah. and kept some things alive. And then Morgan Simmons was huge serving yeah. the ball. And Riley Hart did a good job too. Yeah, those three did a really good job in the seventh grade season. And, you know, they were kind of our – our go-to players and, and did a lot of nice things um, for us for that for that for that group and like you said, really I thought over overachieved the seventh graders did all year long and I was really proud of them and you know these girls being able to come in and, and, and take Kara's spot basically they all three play well, I guess I guess um, Riley serves for for Kara at least but the other two you know are are filling in in the spot that that Kara Stevens played and you know they did a good job you know I funny we're probably like. 20 to 12 or whatever it was in that that second set and Jalen looks over to me and says should I set Ella and I said absolutely not <laughs> whatever you do do not set Ella and then that's when they called a timeout and so I told the girls that little little funny in the in the huddle and then sure enough the next next time out Ella goes and gets a stuff block yeah, for us gets yeah. a kill and so she does a good job she uh very very green in terms of uh, her volleyball experience she hadn't played before this is her first year playing and she's so athletic and does a good job and she's going to be she's going to be a stud you know very soon but right now she's uh, you can see the glimpses of athleticism and some nice things but she also makes some bonehead plays after a reminder of every once in a while. Well, too. that's part of being that's, young, right? That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. So let's talk about Kara. Kara is obviously a huge part of the team mm -hmm. still. She went yep. and got the sectional plaque. Right. She's been here the whole time. She's sure. taken part in it. Yep. We talked a little bit about this, and I can't remember if we did it on air or off air mm -hmm. uh, at the seventh grade game, but, you know, Last year when Ramsey Fry kind of stepped up right. for the basketball team, when Danny mm -hmm, went down, mm -hmm. you know, it made that team better mm -hmm. in the end. Yeah, You know, sure. this isn't the time you want to lose somebody <laughs> right. like Kara, but right. for Tegan and some people like that, 
it gives them a chance to be the person, right, and make them better in the end. Yeah, no question. And this is, um, you know, this is pretty – this is pretty sweet for me because, you know, obviously losing Kara when we did, um, tough decision for them, you know, tough decision for the family. You know, do you get a surgery at the end of – I mean, we're state champions last year, and all of a sudden she's not going to play in the, for the postseason. Right. And and then, you know, if she doesn't get it done then when she wants to, um, then, you know, she's going to miss high, some of the high school season. So really a tough situation for her. So, you know, we had, a, we had a nice little chat. I don't remember if I mentioned this to you on the air or not, but we had a nice little chat um, after – after she had her surgery as a, just as a team, and I'm not someone who's huge, huge on goals, but we talked about goals, you know, and we, we, we said, let's be realistic. You know, it's going to be awful tough to repeat. And that was kind of our goal coming in. We didn't talk about it, but everyone kind of thought that's what we're going to do. And, and um, you know, with, with Kara out, you know, let's, let's reevaluate things a little bit and let's be realistic. And, you know, Jalen, I didn't even have to. I just said, what's our new goal? What's our new goal? And Jalen Van Beck said, let's go to state. So I thought that was perfect. So, you know, that was something that uh, we were really shooting for and really a tribute to <clears throat> the way the girls stepped up. And like you said, you know, Kara touched a lot of balls for us when she – when she was on the floor, she was passing and serving and hitting, and and uh, we really had to you know, kind of reinvent ourselves offensively because you know you look this is this team you, we're throwing everything out to take it on the left, we're throwing everything out to Kylie on the left, and and that's in however many years I've coached, that's not what we do. You know, we just rely on our middles and we have good middles and we pound the ball in the middle and, and uh, you know, tribute to Jalen being able to be strong enough. We don't, She doesn't get as nearly enough credit as she deserves. She's really a really nice little junior high setter. And, you know, she goes back and, you know, no matter where the where the pass is, she's able to get the ball, a hittable ball to our left sides. And, and Kylie and Tegan are really stepping up and, you know, taking a lot more, um, shouldering a lot more of the, of the offensive load for us in Kara's absence, and, and it's been working out for us. And Jalen dug a couple balls out of the net tonight that mm-hmm. ended up being points for you guys that were huge. Too. Yeah, that's a, that's a skill that, um, you know, we don't I don't work on enough as a coach, but that's something that, you know, when it, when it comes into play, it's really nice to have someone be able to do that. You know, she's uh, – you know, a little bit vertically challenged, so she's kind of down there in the first place. She does a good job of getting low and, and digging those out. So, um, yeah, I remember there was a couple big plays, I think. You know, I can't remember, maybe Kara Leesman shot one out of a rocket from from the back row right into the yeah. net, and, and Jalen yeah. dug it up, and we got a point. So, yeah, that was, I mean, those points are huge. You know, momentum is big, and point every point is, uh, you know, in, in matches like that, especially the first one, obviously, the uh, um, you know, one or two balls here or there, and then, you know, all of a sudden they're winning instead of we're winning, and then we're down a set, and who knows what happens. Well, you go into Bishop McNamara and Kankakee. Mm-hmm. Uh, to asked you off air before we came back. Neither one of us have been there. No, never Hopefully have. we'll – I'm going to try and get the okay. I'm sure we will. We had it last yeah, year, so sure. hopefully we'll be, we'll be there again this mm-hmm. year. But mm-hmm. goal was to get to state. Mm-hmm. This doesn't seem like the kind of gr- group of girls that are going to be okay with that, though. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously – that's that's a big talk. But, you know, we're going to be there, and, you know, you're the, this, this girl's coach is the greediest coach yeah. around. You know, we just <laughs> win the next one, and then all I want to do is win the next one, and then I'll be fine. And then when that one comes, all I want to do is win the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So, you know, we're going to go give a shot. And, you know, who never know when you get over there, you know, what you what you line up against. And, you know, you I was know. Look, I was looking at you guys might see see the same team you saw last I year. Saw, I did see that. Uh, Ottawa, Ottawa Marquette, maybe. Yeah. I think they were yeah. they Well, were it was the, the Champagne team, right? Okay. Seagull. Oh, St. Michael or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know. Like I said, you never know. Get over there, and just, it's a good experience for the kids, and you know, exciting. Um, I think Tegan Rigg actually sings the national anthem um, before the first match of the tournament. Really? Uh, yeah, she was she was selected. I know um, uh, Mrs. Bensel, our, our music teacher, and, and Tegan got together and sent a tape in, and she got selected. So we thought it would be cool if we could just go over there and play while she's singing it. So we'll probably run over there and watch her sing, and then we'll uh, watch a couple of games, and then we'll see what we can do at 7 o'clock, I think. So. Yep, play at 7. So Yeah, that'll be cool. All you got to do is win one more, right? <laughs> yeah, win one more, and then we'll play two on Saturday, yeah. and then, then I'll be happy with that. So There you go. Well, Coach, congratulations. All right. Thanks for coming and talking to us. You bet. Thanks a lot. And uh, we'll hopefully see you Friday. All right. Great job. Thank you. Thanks. That's Coach Kerr talking to us for a few minutes. Just real quick, some stats here. Morgan Wilcox, nine service points and three aces. Ella Tippy had four kills. Riley Hart, three points, including two aces. Jacqueline Van Beck, seven, or Jalen Van Beck, excuse me, seven points and two aces and a kill. Wilcox also had a kill. Morgan Simmons, five points, including four aces. Tegan Rigg only had two points, but he had six kills, all in set number two. And, uh, 
Kylie Putnam had three points, an ace, which included an ace and two kills. For the Redbirds, Alex Martin, Alexis Martin, excuse me, two points, four kills, and three blocks. She had a great night. She's going to be really good in high school at the net, folks. You're going to have to keep an eye on her. She'll be a fun one to watch. Hadley Lake, I kept calling her Day for some reason. Hadley Lake had five points, including an ace and uh, one kill. Chloe McAdams had four service points. Hayden McMurtry had two points, including an ace and two kills. Katera Yulry had two points, two kills, and a huge number of digs. I don't keep digs, but she had a bunch of them. And Landry Robin had three points. So that'll do it from Grigsville Perry Middle School. Thanks for joining us here on TSSR Game Time Live presented by MDH. We will plan to do the game on Friday. Hopefully you can join us as well. Thanks, everybody, for watching and tuning in. We'll talk to you again very soon. This time it will be from Kankakee Bishop McNamara. The Suns get the win 25-22, 25-13. We'll see you again very soon.